time and a quick story or two or seven on each. Let's go. Less than 30 seconds in and we're already off the rails. Have to mention who just came up short of cracking our top 10. So, number 11, Michel Platini. The three-time Ballon d'Or winner is regarded as one of football's finest passers. But in 2006, as the UEFA president, he could not pass on one sweet $2 million bribe from FIFA's Seth Blatter. This leaves Platini saying goodbye football, just as we say hello to number 10, Ronaldinho. The Brazilian two-time FIFA Player of the Year, who has won seemingly everything the sport has to win. Ballon d'Or, World Cup, Copa America, Champions League, Confederations Cup, Copa Libertadores. No other player has won all six of these trophies. Dinho's beautiful smile, which yes, might be more gum than tooth, but when you see it, you cannot help but smile right back. The search for love. He could have had an even greater career if he was more serious, but he won the most important prize of them all. He's won game lovers' hearts. Number nine. With perhaps the exception of Maldini, no defender has left his mark on the game like Franz Beckenbauer leading West Germany to victory at the 72 Euros and 79 World Cup, marching Bayern to three Euro Cups and four Bundesliga titles, and the final feather in the cap of his illustrious career, piloting the New York Cosmos to three soccer bowls. <laughs> yes, in the 70s, there's a champion's final called the Soccer Bowl. God bless you, American soccer. Always dependable for a good laugh. One of Beckenbauer's most harrowing moments, however, is no laughing matter when he takes a nasty fall in the 1970 World Cup, breaking his collarbone and dislocating his shoulder. With all subtitles used, the man dubbed Emperor for his commanding demeanor and brutal toughness lives up to the nickname by playing the remainder of the game in an arm sling. That's like, as the kids today would say, cray cray. Number eight, Ronaldo. Not that Ronaldo, please. The original Ronaldo, the smiling assassin. What is it with these Brazilians and the smiling? I guess 70 degree weather in the dead of winter and beautiful women everywhere will do that to you. Ronaldo is the youngest to ever win a FIFA World Player of the Year at just 20 years old and goes on to scoop up the prize twice more after that. The Phenomeno claims the Ballon d'Or twice and in 2006 becomes the World Cup's greatest scorer, blasting a total of 15 missiles into the back of the net. A record since surpassed. Thanks a lot, Miroslav Klosa. Yet that doesn't change a thing when it comes to Ronaldo's incredibly lasting legacy. Number 7. Alfredo Di Stefano hosts up five consecutive European Cups with Real Madrid in the 1950s. But even more impressive, according to FamousBirthdays.com, Di Steph is the fifth most popular Alfredo in the world, somehow finishing just behind Bertoli's Alfredo sauce, which admittedly is delicious. Our man, the blonde arrow, is only the 24th most popular Argentinian-born footballer all time? This is madness! Not as mad as Harry Kane wanting to play NFL football, but still ridiculous since Di Stefano was the first total football player, playing every position with the exception of goalie. Increíble! Number 6. Zinedine Zidane. Yes, ends his career horrifically, but let's hop past it. Zidane is the frontman of a rocking French supergroup of diverse players who score World Cup gold in 98. Exceptional vision and agility. With tremendous ball control, coupled with an equally tremendous iconic bald spot, Zidane quickly becomes a household name. But with his temper, a name you'd still be hesitant to invite into your household. He was never a prolific scorer. Then again, you ever try kicking in a pair of ladies' skinny jeans like these? It's not easy. Number 5. Johan Cruyff. The Feyenoord Firecracker joins Ajax at age 10 as a baseball player, not starting football until 15. Cruyff and Ajax cruise to three consecutive European Cups, but his true genius is first revealed at the 74 World Cup, where the famed Cruyff Turn is born. 
an evasive maneuver where the back leg drags the ball behind the front leg before spinning in the opposite direction, leaving your opponent laid out on the pitch looking like a complete clown. Few have emulated this highly technical move as cleanly, but it's still used today by players like United's Ashley Young, whose greatest claim to fame involves a bird and his mouth. Look it up! Cruyff later takes his talents to Barcelona, carrying the Barca faithful to their first league title in 14 years. Beginning an incredible journey with the club, first as a star player, later as a legendary coach who introduces a revolutionary new concept of football called controlled chaos, transforming Barcelona into perhaps the greatest dynasty the sport has seen. Okay, time to dive into our final four. Number four, Diego Maradona. Winner of multiple domestic cups in Argentina, Spain, and Italy, World Cup gold, along with a UEFA Cup in Napoli. His record high transfer fee to Napoli sets the Argentinian 6.9 million euro, shattering the previous transfer mark. And just us, or does the Napoli logo look a lot like the old Netscape web browser logo? Just us? Okay, great. Maradona is most remembered for his hand of God play during the 86 World Cup where it appears his hand volleys the ball up and into the net for the score. Even through replay, fans are unsure if Maradona's hand helps to guide the ball in. But all doubt quickly disintegrates after Diego famously tells reporters, After the goal, I waited for my teammates to embrace me, and no one came. I told them, come hug me or the referee isn't going to allow the goal. With this, Diego Maradona becomes, in the very same moment, the most famous and infamous player in all of football. Number 3. Cristiano Ronaldo. Career highlights include obnoxious goal celebrations, throwing a reporter's microphone into a lake, destroying more cars than a monster truck rally, dating Paris Hilton, man spreading so hard he looks like a toddler with a full diaper, and breaking a world record for most underpants shots ever posted to Instagram by a single user. We mentioned these less glamorous CR7 highlights to best validate just how dominant he is. His ability to silence and overcome his self-inflicted shortcomings elevate his legacy. LeBron, Messi, Federer are the most admirable of athletes but still rank, according to Business Insider, behind the overall number one most popular and marketable athlete on the planet, Cristiano Ronaldo. At just 34, all the good, the five Ballon d'Ors, all the league championships, will hopefully continue to outweigh the bad when considering the masterful career and legend of CR7. Number two, Lionel Messi, the Beethoven of Barcelona. By now you all know his stats and his accolades, so let's scrape the bottom of the barrel here and see what you might not know about the great Barcelona star. How about Messi's named after the beautifully mustached Grammy award-winning singer Lionel Richie? Exactly right. Messi hates talking on the phone, saying Jim is through text. As soon as we score you that number, we'll post it to Oh My Goal immediately. Just remember, no surprise by now, the great Pele. A lot of well-known info out on him as well. Let's try and scrounge up three nuggets of new info for you, okay? All right, here we go. Number one, Pele's so poor growing up in Brazil, he can't afford a football. So he plays with an old sock stuffed with newspaper. And you thought Gareth Bale and Kyle Walker had soccer sock drama. Not as bad as Pele. Number two, Pele is the first athlete to have a video game named after him. But it's eventually re-released as championship soccer once Atari realizes, whoops, they never asked Pele about using his name and likeness. The licensing guy at Atari had one job, right? Number three, Pele's final match features his original Brazilian club Santos playing his current New York Cosmos team. The storybook ending has King Pele playing for both clubs in the same game. Sweet.